Aircraft carriers are large and highly powerful combat ships that serve as a key component of modern naval fleets. They are designed to function as mobile air bases capable of carrying and launching various types of aircraft and helicopters. The deployment of aircraft carriers requires careful coordination and interaction with other naval assets, such as surface combat ships, submarines, and support vessels to form a powerful naval task force. Today, we will tell you about the latest aircraft carriers from different countries around the world and discuss which of them are the most powerful combat units. Let's get started. Fujian is a new Chinese aircraft carrier designated as Type 003. It is the first aircraft carrier to be developed in China under its own design. Some sources claim that the construction of Fujian began in 2015 to 2016, while others suggest it started in 2017. It was launched into the water in 2022 and is expected to join the Chinese Navy's fleet in 2024 to 2025. It will become China's third aircraft carrier. In terms of size, Fujian significantly larger than previous Chinese aircraft carriers and is closely comparable to the American Ford-class nuclear aircraft carriers. This aircraft carrier is equipped with electromagnetic catapults, which allow for the launch of larger aircraft with heavier payloads and more fuel. Given its size, Fujian is capable of accommodating approximately 60 aircraft, including J-15 series fighters. In 2021, China ordered an additional 55 advanced fighters which will be integrated into Fujian. Currently, the J-15 is the only Chinese carrier-based fighter. For defense, Fujian is equipped with three 30mm close-in weapon systems, specifically a variant of the Type 1130 equipped with an AESA radar. Other defensive weapons could include short-range anti-aircraft missiles and anti-submarine missile launchers. Insvikrant is India's first domestically produced aircraft carrier. It is also the largest military vessel ever constructed in the country. The development of such a comprehensive military ship reflects India's significant degree of autonomy in this area. The aircraft carrier was commissioned into the Indian Navy in 2023. Insvikrant is capable of carrying up to 36 aircraft and helicopters, with an onboard hangar accommodating 17 aircraft and helicopters, while the remaining 19 can be placed on the flight deck. It features two elevators, a ski jump, and two takeoff and landing runways. The main armament consists of fighter aircraft, including MiG-29K Tekas, as well as Sea Harrier. The MiG-29K will be used as fighter for air superiority and ground strike missions. Additionally, the aircraft carrier will carry K-31 airborne early warning helicopters, K-28 anti-submarine helicopters, hail drove multi-role helicopters, and possibly helicopters of other types. Its defensive armament will include long-range Israeli air defense missiles. The cost of the new NSV Krint is approximately $7 billion, with the aircraft aboard ranging from $5 to $8 billion. The Gerald R. Ford class is a fleet of nuclear aircraft carriers developed by the Newport News Shipbuilding Division of Huntington Ingalls Industries for the United States Navy. The first ship of this class, USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78, was delivered to the U.S. Navy in May 2017 and commissioned in June 2017. In April 2023, the aircraft carrier completed a multi-week comprehensive exercise for final deployment certification as a combat vessel of the U.S. Navy. The second carrier, USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79, was ceremoniously launched in December 2019 with its delivery to the U.S. Navy scheduled for July 2025. Subsequent ships of the Gerald R. Ford class, Enterprise and Doris Miller are expected to be delivered in March 2028 and February 2032, respectively. These Gerald R. Ford class ships have a displacement of around 100,000 tons, making them larger than their predecessors in the Nimitz class, but they accommodate 500 to 900 fewer crew members. Compared to Nimitz class carriers, the Gerald R. Ford class carriers will feature 23 new or upgraded systems. They can be armed with the Sea Sparrow missile developed by Raytheon, which provides defense against high-speed and highly maneuverable anti-ship missiles. For close-in defense, the RIM-162 short-range anti-aircraft missile is proposed. The carrier's air wing will consist of 85 aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Royal Navy commissioned two aircraft carriers of the Queen Elizabeth class, 
The first one, HMS Queen Elizabeth, was laid down in 2009, and it joined the Royal Navy in 2017. The sister ship HMS Prince of Wales was laid down in 2011 and entered service in 2019. These are the largest warships ever built for the Royal Navy. The Queen Elizabeth class warships are capable of carrying more than 40 aircraft and helicopters. These aircraft carriers can carry F-35B multi-role stealth fighters with short takeoff and vertical landing. They will perform air defense, air attack, and reconnaissance missions, and the air group may also include H-64 Apache attack helicopters. The hangar can accommodate up to 20 aircraft and helicopters, with two lifts provided for aircraft. Each lift can raise two F-35 aircraft or similarly sized planes from the hangar to the flight deck in 60 seconds. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are armed with close-in weapon systems like the Phalanx for countering airborne threats and 30mm naval guns to counter maritime threats. In 2018, it was announced that the final cost for both carriers amounted to $7.9 billion, which means $3.95 billion for each carrier. Furthermore, an additional $7.4 billion will be required for the initial equipment with multi-role stealth fighter jets F-35B. During a solemn ceremony in the city of Sanya on Hainan Island in 2019, Chinese president commissioned the country's first domestically built aircraft carrier, the Shandong. Initially, it was intended to classify the Shandong as Type 001A, but during the ceremony, it was announced that it would be designated as Type 002. This vessel marks China's second aircraft carrier. The introduction of the aircraft carrier into service is another significant milestone in China's efforts to modernize its armed forces. The Shandong can accommodate up to 44 aircraft, including 32 fighter jets and 12 helicopters. Currently, the planned air wing is expected to consist of 32 J-15 fighter jets, six anti-submarine and anti-ship Z-18F helicopters, four early warning and detection Z-18J helicopters, and two general-purpose Z-9C helicopters. The ships are equipped with three Type 1130 systems, similar to those used on the previous carrier, the Lioning. Each Type 1130 installation has 11 barrels and a firing rate of 11,000 rounds per minute. Additionally, the new Chinese aircraft carriers are equipped with three HHQ-10 anti-aircraft missile systems with 18 cells each. The system is capable of operating in fully autonomous mode and has a reaction time of approximately six to eight seconds. The Pang is a next-generation nuclear-powered aircraft carrier being developed for the French Navy. It is intended to replace the first French nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Charles de Gaulle. The Pang aircraft carrier will be larger and more powerful than its predecessor. Construction of this carrier is set to begin in 2025 with its commissioning plan for 2038. The preliminary design phase of the ship began in March 2021, and the first sea trials are scheduled for 2036. The Pang vessel, with a displacement of approximately 75,000 tons, will be capable of carrying up to 30 maritime variants of new generation fighter jets and combat drones developed as part of the future combat air system program. In addition to the next generation fighters, the carrier's air wing will include an unknown number Dassault Rafale M multi-role fighters, E-2D Hawkeye early warning and control aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles to support the next generation fighters. The Izumo class represents a new type of helicopter carriers for the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. A total of two ships of this class were planned. The main ship Izumo was launched in 2013 and entered service in 2015. It is the largest Japanese military vessel since World War II. The Izumo class helicopter carriers are versatile ships capable of conducting amphibious operations, as well as anti-ship and anti-submarine warfare. This class provides the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force with greater power projection capabilities. In accordance with the Japanese Constitution, the use of offensive weapons exceeding the level of self-defense is prohibited. However, classifying these ships as helicopter destroyers is not entirely accurate, as they are significantly larger than destroyers, have a full-size flight deck, and a relatively large air wing. The flight deck has five helicopter landing spots for simultaneous takeoff and landing. The Azumo class ships can carry up to 14 helicopters, but it is stated that the typical air wing during peacetime will consist of seven anti-submarine helicopters and two search and rescue helicopters. 
In addition to helicopters, these ships can accommodate multi-role F-35B fighter jets, as well as V-22 Osprey tiltrotor aircraft. Write in the comments which of these modern aircraft carriers impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.